Speedies are it. Spe Did you hear how, how my voice got? That's how you know it's good. Speedies are it, okay? I should get this, like my name. You can get it personalized. I do not do reviews on my products until I have had them for at least a year, but typically two years. I just don't think it's fair or I don't think it's really accurate to give a review of something that you've only had for 10 minutes. That's just me. So just a bit of like garment construction because I do have a degree in fashion design. If you embroider things all together, it's easier to close. Bonjour, mes amis, and bienvenue to my 25 days of vlogging. C'est moi, Jesse, your resident Francophile, and here on Cappuccinos and Consignment, I focus on lifestyle, travel, and finance. Sequel Play, take a moment to like, subscribe, and follow. Follow me over on Insta. I have a blog, and I am desperately trying to find my way on TikTok. So, I like big totes that I cannot lie. I have always wanted to say that. <laughs> I want to chat about my most worn bags. If you are a vintage mezzami, stop after I give the question. Stop and put in the comments, what are my most worn bags? I try not to have favorites, but I definitely have a type. So put it in the comments while I take a sip. And we are back. I have a type. I definitely have a type. I am a tote gal. I love totes. J'adore totes. I'm just, I, I don't know why. Maybe it's a size, like I'm 5'9", so I could never get into those micro bags. I, I just, that's crazy. Like, I don't even think my worries can fit in one of those things. I love huge bags. Like, it, it's to the point when I leave, the husband questions, like, are you coming back? that's how big my bags are like they are just so necessary i just i don't get it like how do people how do you exist those people who just leave with the card holder and if you have not seen maybe i'll use that as a short over on insta i had this like series what your handbag says about you and those women who only leave with card holders i'm watching you i'm really watching you <laughs> I will never be that person. I will never be that gal. Even when I am taking walks, I am like packed to capacity. My poor Gucci bum bag is like barely holding on right now because I pack so much into it. And that's just for a walk. So without further ado, let's get into my most worn bags. I'll tell you maybe why I purchased them or something. So let's start with my Speedy. Speedies are it. Did you hear how, how my voice got? That's how you know it's good. Speedies are it, okay? <laughs> I don't care. People can call it basic, call it boring, call it what you want. Call it mine. That's what you should do because I love my Speedy. I also love handbags. So that, maybe that's another reason why I like totes because you don't put a tote on your shoulder, I don't think. Well, my Fendi one, I feel like the sunshine should have came with a strap. I don't even know. I probably left it at Fendi. I did not want it. Anyway, I absolutely love my Speedy. I fit everything in here. It It is huge, 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 huge. And I think it just fits me to perfection. On my, I don't know what day of my 25 days of vlogging, I did an entire series, an entire vlog on the history of the Speedy check it out. And if you are interested in buying a pre-loved Speedy, please let me know. I'll put some links below. When you use my links, it helps me out so much. I also discuss how you all using my affiliate links help me out so much because I do not do a lot of brand deals. So buying badges, my thrifting guides, using my links, they help cappuccinos and consignment out so much because as it stands, I'm self-sustaining. Back to business. The Speedy, love it i try to insert photos of all the different ways and places i have worn my speedy it is a classic bag i said it we can fight in the comments psych <laughs> the speedy next is my book tote <laughs> i am so in love with this bag so 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 in love i have wanted it forever I had another book tote before this one, but 
it wasn't me. It, it truly wasn't. I think I only wore that book tote one time and that's crazy considering how many times I have worn this. Let me get back in the frame. Whew. Okay, so for my sanity, I am flipping the purse backwards because if I have the Christian Dior in the front, I'm gonna keep looking to make sure it's in the frame and while editing, it's gonna drive me crazy. So, <laughs> well actually while we're back here, do you think I should get this like my name? You can get it personalized. I was skeptical about it at first. I wasn't skeptical. I wasn't into personalizing things at all. When I first got into the luxury space, I feel like just being totally transparent that I couldn't process that these things were really mine. And I don't know if I thought, oh God, let me not put my name on it in case I have to sell it all. Or maybe just with age, I don't know, who knows. But I was not into personalizing things. But as of late, I've really been into that. Even like some of my LV pieces, I've been thinking about getting like heat stamped. My luggage tag, I need to do that. Anyway, absolutely love this. So I purchased this in Paris in January, and I feel like I should say the year because who knows when you're watching this, January 20, January, no, it was July, July 2022. I um, initially wanted the Fendi Sunshine Shopper in like the brown, the really rich brown color, but I am too brutal on my bags. Went to Dior. This is definitely a purse that I have been wanting for some time. Again, I had a tote. I had a book tote that just, it, it was pretty. It was aesthetically pleasing, but it was essentially a trophy. And if you are a vintage mezzanine, you know I do not have trophies. Like I wear all of my bags to death. So I knew that this was a classic. I love, love, love this bag. I know it's like not the it bag anymore, but I don't care. And that's what I tell you all. Buy what you love. Do not get wrapped up on the what's in, what's out, because depending on which website or which influencer you're watching, they're going to have conflicting stories. So only you can determine what's a classic. This is a classic pour moi. I got this in Paris. pretty much wore it out the store. I wore this bag so much that by the third week, a part of the embroidery was starting to unravel. And I later found out that that happens because each of the letters are embroidered separately. So just a bit of like garment construction because I do have a degree in fashion design. If you embroider things all together, it's easier to close each stitch. But when each letter is independent, it's not connected to anything, so it can unravel. I hope that makes sense. But that's what I found out was an issue with my um, Dior. And I got so scared because in my head, it's like, I just spent so much money on this tote and you're telling me that it's falling apart already. No, it, it's natural. Once I saw it and once the sales associate explained it to me, I got it. It makes total sense. And if it ever happens, I can just take it back. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> but this is my go-to. I wore it yesterday for the first time since the spring and summer. And I don't know why I stopped wearing it because I certainly don't think that this is a seasonal bag. My first book tote was definitely seasonal. It was um, just really tropical. And if you are new here, I utterly detest the sun sand and pina colada. So I don't know who I thought I was when I got that bag. I have the belt. I have a twilly. I am just so matchy matchy. It's ridiculous. I feel like I want the winter scarf. I have purchased it. Well, the husband got the scarf for me, the wool one, but I did not like it. And the one that I really wanted was no longer in stock. And I kind of just got that one because I was sad. I'm always saying this, but if you are new here, like Paris is home. Like I'm always in Paris. And whenever I come back to the States, I just get down a bit. So I went shopping and a week later I came to my senses and I returned that scarf, which I never showed here. Actually I did in a spend the week avec moi, but I didn't do a review. I do not do reviews on my products until I have had them for 
at least a year, but typically two years. I just did a review on my Chanel tote and I've had that bag for six years. I just don't think it's fair or I don't think it's really accurate to give a review of something that you've only had for 10 minutes. That's just me. So yeah, this is one of my most used bags. Love it, love it, love it. Next is my Fendi Shopper. <laughs> Look at this, baby. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Again, I have to flip it this way because I'll keep looking at the Fendi. <sighs> so good. So good. <laughs> so story time. I was in Paris. This was September 2022. I am um, Fashion Week in Versailles. I did a lecture at a French university. And um, when I got back to Paris, I went back to Dior initially because I wanted to get the leopard print book tote. Going back, time travel, that's one of my favorite things. In July when I was in Paris, I debated between the navy book tote or the leopard print. I wear a lot of black and brown, so I didn't know how the navy Dior book tote would fit into my wardrobe, but ultimately, as you can see, I chose the navy. Circling back, I wanted a black and brown tote, so I went back to Dior. I have and found two scents that I am obsessed with, but I want to just let it back. It's a line at Dior. I want to let it breathe for a bit before I, um, oh, hold on. I want to let it breathe for a bit before I make up my mind. I, oh, I wanted to go to Dior. Maybe that's a sign that I don't need that tote. Let's see how long. In September to buy the leopard print book tote and the line was wrapped around the corner. And I just, I, I cannot, I cannot get used to waiting in line to spend so much money. And I feel like it was raining. It was just a lot. So I went on over to Fendi just to play with the sunshine tote. I knew I shouldn't have done it because it was the brown like lambskin leather that is just far too delicate. And if you see that bag, it's so, so precious. And I don't do well with precious objects. So I knew that that was just a bad idea, but just wanting to like, I'm leaving here with something. I just gave a lecture at a French university. I'm leaving here with something. I went over to play dress up. So while there, the essay showed me a few sunshine shoppers and I was almost sold. I was wearing my YSL eye care tote and the essay saw how I threw that bag about she said, I don't know if that tote is a good idea for you because I have just been watching you throw that bag, throw your YSL bag around and you are going to beat that bag up. And so I thanked her for her honesty. And then she said, I have something better for you. She came out the back with this baby. I did not know this was an option. Had I known this was an option, I've never gone over to Dior to get the leopard print book tote. I would have gone straight to Fendi for this. When she pulled this out, like it was it. I'm like, just wrap it up, wrap it up. Throw it in the bag in my best fabulous voice. This bag was mine. But of course I had to play with it. I had to drink champagne. I had to record for Insta and the vlog. Check out my Paris vlogs, they're so good. And yeah, so I wore this bag. I didn't wear it the next day because it was raining. But the rest of my stay in Paris, I wore this bag every single day. I feel like, did I use it flying back? No, I don't think so. I put this in my luggage. But I love this tote. It is just, <sighs> it makes me so happy. <laughs> And because I'm so matchy matchy, I did the Tweely again. I got the belt and I'm looking at this scarf. It's a winter one because I feel like the Tweely will hold me during the spring months. But I, um, I want this scarf. Hmm. 
I'm not a Christmas gal, but I have been good this year. So we shall see. So yeah, this, um, this is it. This, this is it. I, I feel like I wear this Speedy a lot. Not as much as the monogram. And I'm certain it's because of the size. It's not as big. I will say, um, in Paris in November, 2022 i told you i'm always in paris <laughs> in um november 2022 when i was in paris just a few weeks ago i wore this every single day because it did rain a lot and i did not have to worry about messing up the vachetta with my monogram or anything so this was a really really safe bag i think the speedy is just such a classic as i told you with the monogram and this is perfect for inclement weather if you destroy your speedy do not hold me accountable no, no, no. <laughs> I wear this a lot. I wear this a lot because it is Chanel. It is a jumbo flap and it is so rare. I rarely see people in the vertical leather. For the most part, all the fashion girls have the, um, have the quilted, which is good as well, but this is so me. I wear this purse more often when I'm going out for the evening because the totes are, they're huge. I still wear those in the evening, but for the most part, I wear this one when I'm trying to pack light. It is a jumbo flap. It is huge, but it's small by my standard. And voila, I feel like those are the bags that I wear most. If I am wrong, if you have receipts of me wearing another bag, Bulku Times, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any additional questions about any of the bags I have shown, please let me know in the comments below. Again, I love saying that. <laughs> and I will see you all demain. Ciao for now.